our signature events that we have every year where um, we try to just basically spread holiday cheer. We use the basketball game as a premise to get people to come, bring toys, and just engage and share. And overall, we want to give back to the community and, and, and enrich the community with things that we felt like we were lacking when we were growing up. Uh, healthy items, educational aspects, leadership, and mentoring aspects. So we've been doing this for now, going on 20 years. We started the organization uh, back in 1999 when we were residents uh, with student loans. So we often would joke and say we're the poorest philanthropists uh, you know, uh, or the only philanthropists you know with student loans. Just us sharing our truth was really something that kids was like, wow, like they've been through all the things that we've been through or I've been through, and they were still able to become doctors. You don't really got any, any excuses when you're talking to me because you can say, oh, I grew up in a single parent home. I'm like, so did I. Oh, my parents were on drugs. So were mine. Oh, I got in trouble with the law. So did I. Oh, I, I, I don't have any money and financial to get to college. Neither did I. So, so give me something better. And let me now tell you how I did it with all those odds against me. And then they, and they perk up. So we use this program to showcase their, their um, projects, let people talk to them, and then we choose a winner. And um, we get to kind of spread some, some positive reinforcement for community service and working together. Ultimate goal is to get girls into STEM fields. So I'm an engineer at Johnson and Johnson, and I know I know what it's like to be in a class, an engineering class. But you're the only girl. You're the only black person in there. So if they're not going to school, they also don't contribute to the economy. I mean, a lot of the things that you know, if you listen to our story, you may hear elements of a sob story, but it's hard to, to, to engage in that because we understand how blessed we were to have something that a lot of people don't get a chance to, to have, which is going to college with a self-contained unit of friends and you know a lot of the things that you may seek that may distract you from hitting the ground running as far as your studies are concerned. I think when it comes to today's youth, it's the relatability. They can see a lot of uh, themselves and us and they know that if these three have done it before, so can I. I think that's just life in general. We often model ourselves after examples, good and bad. You know, and, and in this case, we're trying to really reinforce the concept of that positive peer pressure, that positive pat. Every year, the doctors, uh, Dr. Stephen Davis, Dr. Lee Hunt, and Dr. George Jenkins, like to recognize the positive efforts of young people who are doing great things as they relate to health, education, leadership and mentoring. We relied on a lot of youth and a lot of elbow grease and youthful exuberance to last these 20 years, but I think we're all out of that. <laughs> you know, we're running out of that. So we're going to have to organize and think our way through these next steps a lot more. Um, and that's what we aim to do. And we rallied a lot of, you know, uh, people to help share their executive experience that because that's what we're going to need. You know, we're going to expand our programming and and instead of having a mentor day, we're gonna have a mentor program. And, and so instead of just one-off events, we're gonna um, expand these programs and, and hopefully develop um, some pipeline programs to help kids walk through the process. Um, so we're really excited about that.
The Three Doctors Foundation has been putting on this game and this event and raising money and drawing attention to these causes to make an impact in the lives of young people for over 20 years. Can I hear everybody shout out 20? Come on, shout out loud and say 20. Now let's show the three doctors our appreciation and put our hands together and scream and celebrate for 20 years. Come on, 20 years.